Hey, what is up everybody? Fulcrum here. I hope you're all having an amazing day today. I'm back again with another full gameplay today. This one is a Slayer on Aquarius. This is from just a little more than a week ago. It's from a night we were four stacking as a team. Um, two of my teammates you'll see all the time here on the channel, Smurf and Beast I'm playing with. And we have a fourth that we picked up for the night, Toxic Twitchers. So it is a pretty close game. Um, I don't remember the other team's comp, if they were a four stack or not. But like I said, it is a very close match. Lots of lead changes, lots of intense moments. Um, it gets pretty down to the wire towards the end. But I do end up going 20 and 9 in this game, which is pretty good. Um, that's not a bad scoreline for a Slayer. But we are going to take a look at a couple plays. I probably could have had an even better scoreline had I made a couple smarter decisions, uh, lived up a few times. And we're going to take a look at those too. But that's enough rambling about me. Let's hop into the gameplay. All right, getting it kicked off here. These slayers move pretty quick off the start, so I will try to keep up. Something I always like to do off the start here is grab the thrust. It's always really good to have that type of equipment. Get into an engagement here, car one, and I get him one shot. I go to re-engage, and he's very good about those pre-nades. I don't feel too bad about that re-engagement there. We do trade out. Um, those were just good nades on his part. So I spawn up here in our util. My teammate Smurf goes down in the fridge, and my other teammate Beast goes down car one. I'm able to finish off the guy that takes down Beast, but there is another one of this guy's teammates right behind him. I'm not able to clean up the kill in time, but I do get a lot of damage. So Smurf comes in here, he finishes off that kill, making it 6-4 to four off the start. I do spawn on the other side of the map here from Beast and Smurf though. But we're picking up kills across the map, I actually get a kill all the way on the other side, Yellow Base. But I think we get 3 down there, so we now are only down by 1 kill here. I'm kind of just trying to anchor Blue Base here, I want us to all to spawn together and not get split spawn again. So we do all successfully spawn Blue Base here. We get a kill on Blue Link. Our teammate Toxic is kind of pushing up a little far here into Yellow Util by himself. But we've got him spawning Yellow Fridge. Um, I do miss the jump there to Cart 3. Happens to the best of us. So yeah, a little chaotic right now. We're getting kills all over the map. I do get caught from behind here. This guy hard chases and I'm able to get damage from his grenade. Big damage from the grenade there and he runs towards my teammates on spawn. So of course I'm calling that out, they take down, they take him down, get the kill, and it is still a two point game. And we are still kind of trapped here in blue base, we've been spawning blue base, but they have now pushed a pretty far on the map here. Beast and Toxic have been able to get out, but me and Smurf are still trapped back here. I take down one, scoop up the heat wave here, and almost get the trade, but my melee did not register there. That would have been a really good trade if it was able to go through, but unfortunately we get taken down. Looks like Beast went back to try and assist there, but it was just a little bit too late. He gets taken down as well. We do have Quantum Translocator up here, so I'm kind of watching that. They do have one who's able to sneak away and get that QT. He gets away with that, but I get our thrust. I want to go up here to P2, just try and get a little bit more of that elevation control. But I do get damage on this guy, so I want to just reposition real quickly. See if he went to our fridge, maybe P1, just check this area real carefully. But I also do notice here that I am isolating myself from my teammates, so I want to join them on this fight car side. I noticed two here on yellow table, and this is one of those deaths I really shouldn't have had there. Um, I thrusted back because I kind of thought they might have went bottom middle, but either way I thrust back into the fight instead of away, get taken down, spawn back here again in blue base. And I noticed one P2, just go ahead and mark him there for my teammates, they're kind of pushing out towards yellow. But we want to slow it back down here. Um, there's a little bit of that theater bugginess there. I do get a BR kill top mid. Take down another one, yellow fridge. And I just want to try and maintain this top mid control. Um, get a little bit of stability back in the game. Figure out where we're spawning, where they're spawning. I take down another one there, car 2. And it looks like we've got them spawning yellow base here. So we have a little bit better of an idea of what's going on all around the map. Me and Beast notice a guy weak here in yellow util. So we get to go ahead and push this fight. He takes quite a bit of damage here, so I want to just push up and try and body block on this kill. I take that guy down, but the nades do unfortunately get beast there. He goes down. Um, I'm a little bit isolated here on yellow now, so I want to just push back out to mid. Um, 
maintain that mid-map control, get ready for this QT spawn. Uh, just some precautionary nades there, just in case anybody's coming up behind me. But through that top mid control, we have now tied up the game. I've scooped up QT, so I now have that in my back pocket. We're now up by two kills here, and I go ahead and pop QT here, P1. A uh, little bit of a questionable decision. That's that's not really a power position to pop that, but I go ahead and use it P1. Get sight on somebody car too, so I want to go over here and just cut this guy off, make sure he doesn't push up into our base or anything. He wastes both shocks there, and we're able to take him down. He's in a fight with my teammate Toxic. So as you can see, that QT was a little bit questionable. I haven't used it the entire time, but either way, we're getting kills. Beast gets taken down there, but there's a lot of damage on this guy. I'm able to finish off the kill. He does unfortunately take down Toxic, so it is a two-kill game. I get so close to killing that guy Blue Quart, but he gets a lot of support from his teammates. One actually pops me from P2 there, so good play by them. Still a two-kill game. Very close here. Coming off spawn again. We're still spawning in Blue Base. Looks like we are three up as a team. I get some good shots here on the P1. Don't want to chase that too hard. But I get back up here to P2, and they are coming at me hard, P2. There's now two P2, one with Heat Wave. I kind of expected that P that weak guy to drop down P1. I take him out, but a little bit um, unsuspecting of that guy bottom mid. He gets the melee kill on me, takes me down. One kill game. It's still very close here. So they are currently blue fridge, and we've spawned up blue link. So we're all on the same side of the map here. They've pushed out the P2 now, so I realize we need to try and take some mid-map control as well, but they have also looped up behind us. Smurf gets taken down, Beast is one-shot, and we're just going to go ahead and take this fight here in blue base. We get him weak. I'm able to take down the Heat Wave guy here. But I get collapsed on, I get killed, pinched there, but Beast is still up. He's living in blue base, just causing havoc for him. I spawn up on the opposite side of the map and Beast is still alive over there. They're still living up on blue base somehow. I go ahead and get yellow thrust and I want to take this P2 angle so I can support them. Um, I get the assassination there, pick up the QT, and we're really starting to get some pretty good kills here. We're still only up one, but I now have QT. We're on a roll here, we've got a lot of momentum. I pop QT car 2 now. We take that guy out as a team, but they are kind of collapsing on us here. I QT back into some grenades here. Um, I'm really getting pinched on at this point, so I want to just try and get some damage in. I do get some damage in on that guy Blue Court, but I get taken down there. One kill game, five minutes left. They've tied it up here. So we really have got to slow it down here. Um, try and maintain any sort of map control we have. Smurf unfortunately gets picked there cross map, so we are now down one. Get a lot of damage here onto these guys P2. Uh, I don't want to take that fight too hard there, so I reposition, just trying to live up here, play smart. We do re-engage here. Take one down, bottom mid. And I got that guy really weak P1, but I want to reposition here, try and take the fight from a different angle. Looks like that guy went to blue table. He does a lot of damage on me here, but me and Smurf are both one shot. We both come back here. We're able to live up. Like I said, we're playing smart, playing slow here towards the end of the game. Tie game here. Four minutes left in the Slayer. I'm able to take this guy down P2. Smurf does get taken down P1 though. And I'm able to drop down behind these guys. We get the collapse. Those are huge kills. We're now up two kills. 46 to 44. Coming here to the end of the game. QT is up. It looks like they've gotten another kill here to bring it within one. I get one absolute in blue util, so he's now postponed. He can't go anywhere. I pop that QT just to go ahead and burn that. We're up three kills here, so we've really just got to close it out. I get the kill on that guy, car two. Maybe we're just going to get that last kill, but not quite enough time. We take him down as a team, and we win that game 50-44. to 44. Great game there towards the end. That was really close. It was a very intense match. Um, I tried to do my best to keep up with the action here. 
um, in my commentary. Hopefully I did it justice. Like I said, the Slayers move really fast. They're a little hard to keep up with, but we're able to take the win there in a very close Aquarius Slayer. So thank you guys so much for watching as always. I hope you enjoyed that one. It was a lot of fun to make. Like I said, these Slayers are a little bit different. They're a lot more fast paced than the objective game modes. So you've really got to try and keep up with it when you're doing the commentary. But it's a lot of fun making these. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Um, be sure to check in for the next video as always. And be sure to check out my community tab as well, guys. I'm posting a lot of just cool, exclusive little fun stuff over there pictures from stuff that I'm doing in personal life, hikes, um, just cool stuff like that. So if you care about that type of thing, check that out. Be sure to follow me on Twitter, hit subscribe, like the video, comment, all that fun stuff. And thank you so much, guys. Have a great rest of your day.